What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're gonna do a repair. So this Polar V800 here, the battery is really weak. And what I'm gonna do today is I show you how you can change it. In the Polar store or in a repair shop it costs you about 180 euros to change the batteries and today I show you how you can do it by your own with 5 euros. Incredible! 30 years ago Polar made their first heart rate measurement device and um, now this V800 is the flagship and it's quite good. So it's aluminium, it's tough, the contrast is really really good, but the battery is weak now. If you're watching my sports vlog, you know I use the Garmin sports watch. So, but today I'm gonna fix the Bola watch for my friend. <laughs> to fix this it's not so difficult, but we have to take care of a few things. We need a soldering iron, a, a screwdriver, this is the charging cable, oh, this is the watch here with the weak battery. Normally this battery lasts for one week and then you have to recharge it. So it's quite a nice watch. And what else we need is the battery. So I just got this. The costs were about 3.7 US dollars. Well, so I show you how we do it today. It's not so difficult. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> the first thing we have to open the watch. See, the battery is just behind the display here. Let's see the next step. These are the display screws. is almost finished and surprisingly a friend brought another watch so now I have another to fix yeah guys so I have to do watches here now as I told you before I got another watch to repair and yeah it's still in progress I just uh, disassembled the black one again and um, want to show you the difference where I was really struggling. This is the size of the battery. So you see here, this one has 29.19 millimeters, and the original one, 27.3 millimeters. So this is quite a difference, and the issue is that to fit it here. You have to take a little force 
and to take care also take care with the with the wiring you see the wiring I will show that later again but it must be hidden otherwise there is an issue with the ceiling over here all right so this is just a quick comparison and now I will just change the batteries this is the broken one this one we will now exchange this is the new battery you see they have the detection circuit quite nice so here are the two batteries again on the left side this is the old one and yeah you see it's two millimeters wider the new one this is the new battery and now I just put it back in and solder solder iron is here solder everything and then we are ready to go battery is bigger I hope this works the new battery here you can see this is cabling and those two wires I have had to remove them they were too short and I cut them and not to connect it this is for the piezo element all right so let's continue the connection is done I have reconnected the wires and the sound also works You hear? Great. So you see, connected it, batteries in, and now I assemble it again. guys the watch is finished I have changed the battery it was a task it took one and a half hours to clean it to solder everything to change the battery itself and finally to put it back together to put it back together it was quite tricky let's say but finally the result everything is working you see light the sound is working and everything so I'm really really happy with the result so now instead of this 180 euros it just cost 5 euros uh, when I ordered the battery I talked to a friend of mine and what he said oh my battery is also weak it's only lasts one day so please change my battery too and so I have the next here the battery already arrived and I will soon fix it now I go to bed and have a wonderful evening consider to subscribe to my channel goodbye <laughs>